Hello. Uh, just in case there's any confusion where I am when I'm working on the project, I'm just going to be in a template file. So I have nothing else open here. This is a fresh install of Advanced Steel. I'm going to try and update everything as I go along. Drawing styles, everything. I'll get to all that stuff. Some of it I'll do off camera, uh, but you know the basics. I'll try and do and record. So I've already covered the connection vaults and the <clears throat> tool pallets here. So what I'm going to do is there's also other pallets over here on the side which are useful for 2D drawings. So I probably should have addressed this maybe later, but I kind of use it in conjunction with these. So if you type in palette tool palettes, and you'll see tool palettes come up here. And then what I like to do is I'll drag it over here to this side. I'll mount it over here. And then I can have it where it closes and opens when I hover over it. Now, You can see when I come in, uh, I want to drag it out a little bit so I can read it properly. So you can see here, we've got all these different tabs. Now you can also create your own tab and you can have a new palette. We can call that ADM. So what you can do then is you can go through these. So, uh, so what we'll do, we're not in a 2D drawing, but uh, I believe we should be able to bring them in anyway. So let's just see. So it's a hex knot, so it's going to be small. So see I'm out far. So if you need a knot, you can just bring it in that simple. Um, let's put it in here on this point. And there we have a knot. Now if you click on that, <clears throat> You can see it's a block so you can also go in and edit that block edit blocks so you can change the block now uh, it's generally it, it's not behaving like a regular block so generally what I do is I usually just use it for the lines anyway and I can explode it and I'll delete that and then we'll just select everything and then we'll group them and then we have a knot for a drawing if you need to scale it you can scale it from the center point to whatever you need also over here you have other things like we have annotations so over here we have like call out sections call out bubble so it's not letting me drag that over there. So we can drag these back onto our own palette then. So we're metric down here. So here's a section call out. And it, I'd like, it'll actually let me put that in here. And then if you want, if we pin this, that's auto hide. If we leave that open, we should be able to drag this back onto our own palette. Uh, sometimes I have to close down to update, but we should be able to drag this back onto our own palette to make it available. So it's not always successful, unfortunately. But anyway, <clears throat> we don't need to worry about that too much. Just the basic thing I wanted to show you was that all these things are available in here. Uh, you even got a tree there. So you got you got some stuff there that's useful. You got, there's mechanical, electrical, civil, structural, you know, if you need a node point, you can just drag this on. So this is an elevation symbol. Okay. If you just want a dot, you can explode that, you know, and just, this is just giving you examples of what you can do if you're stuck, you know, rather than trying to create a circle and this is on smart trim so I can trim this up quickly and then group these back together and then if you want to you can export that so I can always do right block so W for right block 
and I want to do new block so what I'm going to do is I'll go in here and I want to put that somewhere sensible so let's go back to the C drive program data Autodesk advanced data 23.2 shared and I usually have a folder in here so a new folder and we'll just call it blocks it's going to be my own blocks that I put in here I'm going to save that and I'm going to put it in here and I'm going to call that block working point I'm going to save that and then I'm going to select that. pick a point pick the center select the objects so I'm going to select those objects and okay <clears throat> and I should write that block now if I delete these items let's just delete everything out of this now as you can see up here I've opened this as a DWT file again but if you go to save this See, it did save it, so be careful when you're opening that. <clears throat> so what I want to do now is I want to back up a little bit. So I'll back up out of that. So if you make that mistake, now you're after copying over your template file. Now, in the previous version, now I'll save that again. In the previous version, this would not come in as a DWT. So let's close this for a second. And if I do open, see this is a slightly different look here, and I'm not sure why this is still showing up here. Yeah, this is a different look than I'm used to, and I don't like it to be honest with you, but it's like everything, I just need to get used to it. So when I open this template file, I don't like that it's automatically saving as a template. So I've got to fix that somewhere. So you see, it, if you see up here in the top, this should be opening as a DWG. But it's not, it's opening a template file because I'm clicking on this. So what we need to do is new, and let's try it this way, through the template that way. This is a one-time upgrade. Now I've already upgraded that, so that shouldn't be asking me that question. But as you can see, now it's coming in as drawing one. So don't open it as the template. Go in here and go to new. Uh, I'm just a little confused because this is different than what I'm used to. I'm used to it looking like uh, like this. We'll open Advanced Steel 2021 just to show you. So, yeah, so this is what it usually looks like for me, and I like this look, and then I just go here to open files, or I can go template, and I can open this template, and it doesn't open as a template, but it did in 2022, so just be careful with that. Um, so let me go back to 2022 basically that's all i wanted to show you here anyway was once we're in the drawing here you have this toolbar which is very useful you can use some of the stuff moment connections you know if you want to mark the moment connections you have that obviously it's small because i'm in a 3d model right now so i hope that helps um basically just set it to close every time so it's not in your way then when you need something you can just zip over here and get it also, if you type in insert and we go here, we can see this recent working point. And if we come here, this is the block that we saved. Now, I'll go through this in a different video later on, but basically there's the block. So we look at the top view, scroll down. There's your block. I'm on the laptop, so I need to regen that. All right. So I hope that helps. 
that's just your tool palettes here, the basic tool palettes. And uh, all right, hope that helps. Take care. Bye bye.